Since only a few days ago the DPRK tested a new hydrogen bomb, it's called into question the actual damage that the DPRK could possibly do to the United States. Now, according to some seismologists, uh, it appears that the estimated power of the bomb is about 120 kilotons. Now, there have been other estimates, but I think uh, the somewhat of a general consensus would be 120 kilotons. So I thought I would go ahead and take a look at what kind of damage we would be looking at. Now, this is what's called the nuke map. Uh, this is a public website. Anybody can go to it and take a look at it. And you can test the effects of any nuclear bomb anywhere in the world from any size, just so that you can get an idea of, you know, what kind of damage could be done. Now, I, I, when we initially we can tell right away that if it were to drop on New York, New York, the, which is a, a probable place, we'd be looking at an initially 640,000 fatalities. So more than half a million Americans gone right off the bat with an estimated almost one and a half million injuries afterward. And God knows how many of them would end up uh, dying at a later time. So that's a big, that's a big question, and that's that's a frightening prospect to uh, actually deal with. Now it's looking at uh, a fireball that has a radius of 410 meters. That's uh, that's pretty big. That's almost you know, that's almost half a kilometer wide. That's that's a that's a giant fireball coming at people, and that really is, and that really is a big deal. But I think it's interesting to look at what places would actually be affected by the nuclear bomb. Now, despite me living in Niagara Falls, which is right on the border with the United States, I would be just fine. I actually wouldn't get hit by it. So, you know, more power to you. It'd be interesting to note that among the places that would be destroyed are the Apple Store, the biggest Apple Store, thankfully, Best Buy, the New York Stock Exchange, MSNBC headquarters, and Fox News. Okay, so some of the worst media is will be right there destroyed along with the heart of global capital, which is the New York Stock Exchange. Now, uh, thankfully enough, Trump Tower would be destroyed. It's, it's right there at around the top, next to Rockefeller Center, where uh, M the M MSNBC headquarters is. So, in the case of a DPRK nuclear attack on New York, you can best bet at least Donald Trump will lose his pride and joy. Now, some of the other uh, victims, which would be unfortunate as opposed to the people who deserve it, like Trump, would be the Children's Museum of the Arts. Uh, interestingly, the Museum of Fire will burn down. The Empire State Building would be gone, and the Ground Zero Museum Workshop would be gone. Uh, the World Trade Center would get hit again. The Statue of Liberty would be destroyed, the UN headquarters would be gone. That's right. The head of the useless UN would actually be incinerated by this. And finally, the Museum of Modern Art. But modern art is complete crap anyway, so who cares? Now, I believe that there's at least one cat cafe in there somewhere. So at least hopefully someone can go in and take those cats out before the DPRK bombs New York. But... As it stands, uh, the, with the nuclear capability it has right now, assuming a full ability to actually reach New York, New York, it looks like there would be a significant amount of damage done, and much to Donald Trump's chagrin, his precious Trump Tower. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.